Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make Changjurim mixed rice with egg and butter. If you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. This is a really simple dish. It's just something we always forget and then you remember and it's so good and it's so easy. So all you need to do is grab your few ingredients. If you don't have Changjurim, it is a salty beef dish. If you don't have that accessible or readily available to you, you can actually use uh, soy sauce. I would suggest maybe two tablespoons per cup of cooked rice. Start with that, adjust it to your taste as needed. But the first thing we're gonna do, once we get our cup of, well, once we get all of our rice together in a large bowl, we're gonna add our three tablespoons of butter into the rice. And while the rice is really hot, you wanna mix all this up so that the butter melts with the rice. Continue to mix your rice until all the butter has melted. I will eventually put up a Changjurim recipe, um, but the recipe that I have, actually it's not the recipe, it's just my father-in-law made me some and I happened to have it, so I was using it to make it for my kids for dinner one night. So I just thought, you know what, why not throw this up because somebody else out there would probably wanna do this or just be reminded of this and it's just a great, quick, fast dinner meal, anytime meal, I don't know, just, you're gonna love it, okay? <laughs> Once everything's nicely melted, leave everything right there inside of your large bowl and let's move on to your frying pan. Um, this is where I added the additional tablespoon of butter and I cracked three eggs right into the pan. You generally wanna make your eggs like sunny side up, but you can basically make it however you like it. If you prefer well done over medium, however it is, you can, it's all gonna get scrambled right into the rice anyway, so it's fine. I did add a tablespoon of water into my frying pan and covered it with a lid just to steam it some more because my kids are gonna be eating this and I wanna make sure that eggs are more cooked than normal. Once your eggs are done, just go right back to your large bowl, throw your eggs right in there. Like I said, all of this is gonna be basically spashed into your rice. And if your rice is still warm, it's still going to cook a little bit of the eggs. So it's not gonna be as sunny side up like as you would think. This is also where I added about one cup's worth of the changjurim, the salty beef dish. Make sure you pour a little bit of that marinade right into this bowl of rice as well. Probably a good quarter to a half a cup's worth is all you need and we're just going to start mixing everything up. Mix it until you get to the consistency that you'd like it. I liked mine to be thoroughly mixed just because I want my kids to be able to get all the goodness of all the flavors in every single bite. Definitely take your time doing this if you like. This is just a few minutes worth of your time just to make a really fast, easy, simple, and quick dinner meal for your whole entire family that everybody's gonna love. Once you're done mixing, all you have to do is garnish this with some of the toasted seaweed paper, the kim, or with some sesame seeds, and that's it. Dinner is served, and that was just completely easy. This is just something that was just easy to put together, and my family loves it. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure you share this. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.